Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Are you tired of cutting paper? Well, today we're going to switch it up and we're going to cut fabric. If you look here, you'll see a tote bag and I've just ironed fabric butterflies onto the tote bag. Tote bags are great. If you're doing units on recycling and you want the kids to take a reusable bag back and forth to the grocery store or maybe just a bag for them to be able to carry their books back and forth to school. But having them decorate the bags really makes it fun. And it's as easy as finding iron-on adhesive. You just at the craft store or the fabric store, you find the iron-on adhesive. And I've already gone ahead and I've ironed it on to the back of fabric. And at this point, I'm ready to die cut it. So I'm going to place the butterfly shape so that the blade is covered. And I'll go ahead and run it through. And you'll follow the directions, but let's just pretend that we really had an iron here already heated up. All you need to do is peel the backing off of this iron-on adhesive. So you just get a corner started. You peel off the backing. It will expose the adhesive. The kids can decide exactly where they want to place it. They may want to go back and die cut additional other butterflies. Once you have them laid out the way you want, you just set the iron following the instructions on the package and you ironed it on and it's that easy. You're good to go. However, if you're doing it on something like I've done here on this t-shirt, it's going to go through the washing machine and the dryer many times. After you've ironed it on, I think it's helpful to go back with the sewing machine and stitch around the edges so that you have like double durability. You know, you can combine a canvas tote bag with fabric and an iron and you have the makings of a unit on recycling.